this. Well, uh, Daryl, uh, congratulations on your win against uh, Jeffrey. Um, it was your first win on the, at the Masters. Is it something you think about before the tournament starts or not really? Well, well honestly, I forgot all about it now. But if, if I went into the last leg thinking I've never won a game here, I probably would never have won. Um, so I actually forgot all about it. Uh, but if somebody went a five ball, they go, oh, you've never won a game here, Daryl. I guarantee they probably wouldn't have been on a double after 21 darts. So, uh, yeah, no, listen, I'm happy to get a win. But for me, the Masters is the top 16 in the world. And I'm in that now tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I would love to play uh, Chisley tonight, first game, and see if I can break that up. But, um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first, um, a little bit on the uh, about the game against Jeffrey Deswan. Um, Jeffrey had a really slow start. Um would you rather have played a Jeffrey Deswan with maybe a, a little better uh, start from him, so you could um, in, in, like have a have a normal level of of your game throughout the game already? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I think at the moment Jeffrey's struggling slightly. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's uh, confidence, or whatever, but he, he is struggling. And uh, I felt that throughout the game, and I just felt like if I could do the right things at the right time, I could put him under pressure. And it's only a matter of time before he kind of cracks and I get the, get the win. But uh, I was kind of then giving them the chances then, as it says in the fourth and fifth lay, to get back in the game, which he took. He took it a good night. He took it a nice 66. But, um, yeah, no. And then I thought, like, uh, whenever you're a player struggling and you think, like, um, he's walking off, he's thinking, well, I could have been 5-0 five, five down, but I'm 3-2 behind and I've got the throw the next leg. So we, I probably give him all the confidence in the world. Uh, after that, but um, yeah, when everyone five were up, obviously I'm thinking the worst, but I'm just thinking just play calm, uh, get your throw right, and just hurt, hurt as many travels as possible. Don't give him an easy leg, which I didn't, and uh, thankfully I came through. Yeah, I think the confidence was right there, and the nerves were, you know, not really there for, for you uh, watching the game. Um, next game is against Dave Chisnell. Obviously, both you and Chisnell are candidates for uh, a Premier League spot. Does it give you any extra pressure beforehand? Uh, no pressure, but probably more determination. Um, I mean, obviously, I've seen how well uh, Dave played at the, the words, beating Michael uh, in the quarters 5-0. Uh, and I knew, I mean, all I'll say for me, uh, I'm big friends with Dave, and I'm, I think I've been good friends with him now since 2008. So uh, I think it was two or three years ago we deserved to get in then, and quite... Probably no, he probably deserves to get in the game. But as I say, it's it's up to me to play him tomorrow. And if I can beat him tomorrow, um, I don't think necessarily that will knock him out of the running. But I do have myself, uh, put myself in the running. So for me, it's just all about one game at a time. If I can get through tomorrow and take it from there and hopefully give myself a chance of getting in the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, if you get the chance, will you be ready again to, to play and shine in the Premier League? Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, uh, I've been putting in the practice, putting in the hard work. I'm dedicated. Um, I'm not a naturally gifted dart player like Adrian Lewis or Michael Smith. So I have to work hard at my game. And uh, if I don't work hard at my game, I would drop down the rankings massively. And uh, for me, I'm still number 11 in the world. And the way I'm looking at it now is I'm one of the people that's chasing the pack that's in front of me. So uh, hard work, dedication is going to kick back in again now. I want to get back into that top 10, back into the top 8 and see how far I can go. So, yeah, by all means, I haven't given up on uh, being one of the top players in the world again. Well, that's, uh, that's good to hear. Um, well, congrats, congrats again, Daryl, and uh, I wish you all the best uh, tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you very much.